All right, YouTube, we are on part three of my EDC. In part one, I talked about uh, what I carry in my pockets as well as uh, my evolution of my backpack. And in part two, I talked about the backpack and how I modified it and added things to it and what I carry in it. Part three, and I normally carry this in the backpack, but I keep it in all this stuff in its own pouch, so if I need to the extra room, I can swing this onto my hip, and then you have the backpack to carry other stuff. And this is my camera bag. This is a Maxpedition. It is the uh, Versapack, uh, not the fatty, but the Fat Boy, Versapack Fat Boy S-Type, because I normally like carrying my camera on my left-hand side instead of my right. Don't know why exactly, just kind of weird, if you will. But I got this, and I haven't really modified this. I'm not sure per se necessarily if I'm going to, but I know that like I can add a Janus to it. Um, I actually happen to have a, let's see if I can grab it, there it is, the Maxpedition Rat Wallet. I mean, it'll fit onto a strap here, should I need to use this to carry extra stuff. But uh, I just recently got this. I really like the Maxpedition. I've liked Maxpedition for quite a while, just never really had any other stuff. So this being my camera bag, um, for some weird reason, I haven't fully figured out yet why, but I carry a Surefire 6P in that pocket. Bright flashlight, this one not quite as bright, probably needs new batteries. And that's one of the things I need to do too, is I need to uh, put a battery holder, which is in my plans here, get a battery holder for extra batteries for this and the other flashlight that I carry on me. But, you know, I mean, I guess people would normally have a clip in there. So that's what I've got in there. The other side. And this has evolved over the years because I used to just carry a point-and-shoot camera. A little point-and-shoot. And my last little point-and-shoot I had was a Sony DSC T500, which is a really nice point-and-shoot. Um, and again, Sony, I really like their stuff. So this is the Sony AS15 action cam. Which I carry. So I've got a video camera. It films in high definition. Uh, they just recently did an update to it, so it not only films at 30 frames per second in 1080, but it also films at 60 frames per second in 1080. Plus, if you drop down to the 720, you're getting 30, 60, and 120 frames per second. Uh, you know, nice little camera. You know, it's got its flaws, and there's no perfect camera. I kind of like this a little bit more than the GoPro, but only because if they could really get the mounting options figured out right, which I'll mention in a moment, this would be better in my book. A little bit more slim design but uh yeah so i started carrying a, a, a camera in the bag and so i need a little bit bigger bag and then things have just evolved so i've got in here a pelican case to carry my oops my sd cards micro sds which i use in this as well as my camera and that's in that pouch here and then when you open up this pouch I've got a Contour HD, had this one for quite a while, use this off and on quite a bit. And then the other stuff in here is batteries, a whole lot of batteries, see if I can grab them all out here. Should be all of them. You'll notice that I have a lot of these Contour HD batteries. Uh, for a while I had a pair of Midland XTC their higher end, I guess that's what, the 350 camera. And interestingly enough, if you guys look into them, because they're not a bad camera for 250, but they use these cam these batteries. These batteries work great. So that's why I've got a bunch of them. I ended up getting a deal. I got So I've got a huge amount of these batteries. This is not even all of the batteries that I have. And then I've got a pair of battery packs for the Sony. And then for my newly modified point and shoot, I've got another battery pack for it which I happen to keep in here, in the main pouch. But wait, one more, one more item. So, these are drink cozies. Uh, I've got them at dollar store, cheap. They do hold the lens in here just fine, taking off the the shades. I actually have both the shades in here. This is the one that comes with the big lens. That's the little lens one, so I've got both of these in here. It won't, if I have them attached onto the lens, it won't actually hold them all that well, so I just keep them separate like that. I've got my camera itself. This is a Sony Nex 5N. Great little point and shoot, middle ground point and shoot uh, DSLR camera. 
HD video. I'm really liking it. I've got my filter for it, as well as the flash. It comes in its own little case. Not a super special flash or anything, but for the most part, if I can help it, uh, I mean, I've had to use the flash already, because you never can tell, but uh, for the most part, I just generally tend to use lights like I've got right now. And I have one last thing in here. What normally people, well, actually, I've got a couple last things in here. This is the zipper, little zipper pocket. I keep my business cards in there. Uh, probably I'll get some kind of a Velcro thing on here to, to let people know my photo either the photography business or that I'm a photographer or what have you. And then the CCW pouch right here. I've got the manual for the camera. So, yeah, this is my, my camera bag. I can carry this on my person and not have to take the backpack with me and still, you know, still have all the stuff I'm going to need for taking pictures. Or I can just, I generally stick it in the backpack to carry that around. Makes life pretty easy. Uh, for carrying, you know, carrying all this stuff around. And there's a lot of stuff here. Obviously, I really don't need all this stuff. I don't even quite need this, uh, huh, let me take it out of cozy, drink cozy. I don't even quite need this camera, but I'm really liking this camera. And you'll see a lot of people out there who talk about them. They're a pretty good camera. The 5N, which is the next step up from it, uh, is really pretty much the exact same camera with only two differences. One, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, and two, this little screen right here will actually, you know, which is kind of nice because I can flip it out and down. So if I'm up above shooting, I can see what I'm shooting at. Or if I get down low and I'm shooting, I can see what it is I'm shooting at pretty easily. But this actually flips all the way 180 degrees. So you can actually have them mounted up and see what you're looking at from this side, you know, from the other side when you're shooting. So... That's part three. I'm going to do a little addendum, just kind of talking about some of the little things that uh, I can add to my everyday carry, uh, depending upon weather and life and what have you.